Welcome back to UD Arena. Larry Hanskin here as the Dayton Flyers uh, defeat uh, VCU by a final of 106 to uh, 79. <laughs> and to the court with Coach Anthony Grant brought to you by the law firm of Pickle, Schaefer, and Ebling, uh, the Dayton firm for 100 years. And, and Coach, uh, a very impressive offensive display. I mean, you put 106 points up, but what has to please you, i got to imagine, 34 assists yeah. on 39 baskets. Yeah, that's, that's incredible. You know, and then 34 assists with 11 turnovers against a team that presses and obviously, you know, creates a lot of a lot of havoc, so to speak, in terms of the way they play defense. Uh, I thought the guys did a great job of sharing the ball, attacking, making good decisions. When we had opportunities to attack, we attacked. When we didn't, we ran offense. We were able to take advantage of some of the things that, uh, that were available uh, in terms of uh, – you know, layups, open shots, and uh, it was great to see the ball go in. Shot the ball really well today. A guy that got you going, uh, Jordan Davis, hit his yeah. first uh, three shots uh, and, and, and got you rolling. He has a new career high. And, and, and I saw you talking with him earlier today after practice. Was it about confidence? Yeah, in a nutshell, yeah. You know, and uh, you know, as a freshman, he's been through a lot of a lot of different experiences from playing a lot, playing a little, starting, coming off the bench. And my thing to him was, you know, at this point in the season, 17 games in, he's seen enough right now to know what's required, and he's got to enjoy every every moment that he gets to go out there and play, and I thought he did that tonight. You had a nice lead at the half, came out in the second half. I didn't notice or, or feel any perceptive letdown of intensity, yeah. really, until the, the final couple of minutes. Well, I thought our guys played for 40 minutes tonight, you know, and that's something that, you know, we, we're aware – of some of the struggles that we've had starting second halves. We talked to, from the beginning of the year about beginnings and endings. So, you know, more than anything else, I think it was a focused determination tonight to make sure that we, we came out the second half with the same focus. And uh, I thought we did a good job of that. Uh, we were able to keep uh, keep them at bay. Uh, it was It's great to look at the stat sheet and see us out-rebound them. They had a plus-10 advantage coming into our game on the backboard. I, I thought our guys just competed. We, we enjoyed we enjoyed competing tonight for 40 minutes. It, it seem, may seem odd to bring up defense on a night like tonight, a 106 to 79 game. You shoot 63%. They shoot 48%. Yes. But did you feel like you made them work for what they got? That's what we talked about. You know, Tillman had 20 points at the half, and our thing was, you know, we don't want to give them anything easy. Let's make them earn what they get. A big part of that was our ability to take care of the basketball. You know, 11 turnovers on the night kept them out of transition for the most part. They did get some things in transition. But I thought for the most part we made them work for what they were able to get. You got two in a row. You got some little bit of momentum going, and this is certainly a step forward. Well, I appreciate it. We want to make sure we, we're prepared for the next one. All right. Coach, Thanks. we'll let you go. Coach Anthony Grant, next one is, of course, coming up on the road. And that will be Wednesday night at St. Joseph's, a, a 6.30 tip-off. Bucky and I will be there, and we'll have all the action for you. So that wraps things up here. On this cold and snowy Friday night, uh, it's warm and fuzzy in the UD Arena right now. On behalf of our engineer producer here, Caleb McLeod, my partner, the legend Bucky Bockhorn, Larry Hanskin again, our final is Dayton 106, VCU 79. Now stick around for Flyer Feedback.